like to make it very clear from the outset that I may not agree with the content with some of my fellow opposition leaders, but I want to categorically condemn the action by the Zambia police, the UPND Zambia police, to transport or transfer political leaders to different parts of the country, fellow countrymen and women. This is what the colonial government did to the nationalist leaders. They did it to Dr. Kaunda, may he so rest in peace. They did it to Mr. Simon Masaka Puepue, may he so rest in peace. And other nationalist leaders that were fighting for a cause. I'm not comparing ourselves, the new generation of political leaders, to the nationalist leaders. But that was the a script for the colonial government. The question that I pose to President Akainde Ichilema and his new dawn administration and his Inspector General of Police, are you now the new colonial lists in our country that you seem to be following their script? Because the transferring, the restricting of the nationalist leaders to different parts of the country was to break their morale and their spirit to give them mental torture and, and break them for them to give up on a cause. This does not make you look good. Zambia police, President Haga Inde Ichilema, as well as the government. Any person across the country who has a complaint against Jackson Silavo, they must follow where Jackson states and lodge a complaint from there. It is retrogressive and it is embarrassing on the part of government. If something ever happened, for example, to Tayali, God forbid, or to Mr. Rafael Nakachinda, will President Hakainde Ichilema bear responsibility if anything tragic happened? Let's wake up, Zambians. This is not the Zambia we want. This is not the Zambia the Zambian people voted for. We need much more than this. I thank you.